welcome to the slot tracking tutorial where we will like learn how to do this type of block tracking and add lots of block because like you know in the official version like non-commercial version of switch design it does not allow you to have more than two blocks at a time so yeah let's just get it started yeah, by the way, this is made with Python and OpenCV, and I will explain you the code as well. So, let's just delete everything. Also, this is my very first tutorial, so I'm really bad at explaining things. That's all I want to say. Let's start with a movie file in. And we will connect it with the threshold. Oh, wait, I haven't got my file. Let me just drag and drop it real quick. Yeah. I will suggest you to keep the soft end of the threshold at one. Let's connect it with the script. There's if you will count. Delete everything from here and paste this code. I will give you the link in the description. And you can already see that it's making these blocks based on the threshold data it gets. Like if I change it, the blobs will change as well. Okay. And I will explain you the code. Don't worry about it. And let's add a comp. And connect our original file and the comp. Let me turn this one off. Change the this to over and make sure your script is at top. By the way, let me just adjust it because threshold. Yeah, I think that is fine. Okay, let's get into the code. So by the way, this is like a cleaned up version of what I coded thanks to uh what is that name man? Cloud AI something like that. Yeah. Anyways. So this already have these every like uh comments and if you know Python or OpenCV you will be able to understand it anyways. Let's just start it. So at first we have a minimum area of 80 what is the city? This is basically pixels and it says ignore tiny dots. So anything which is less than 80 pixels, it will ignore it. If I just make it 10, you will see lots of these tiny pixels being formed everywhere. You can see this, right? Similarly, if I make it like 1000, you'll see less blobs forming so i will just keep it 80 for this one it depends upon your video you can adjust it and okay that range here's turn this away yep and on line 10 there is gray is equal to the spread and this is zero what does it mean? Zero means red channel. It will only take the data from red channel and like process it. If you want a green channel, you can have one. Uh, if you want blue channel, you can have two. I'll just keep that as zero right now. Now, this is basically it's converting it to like special to binary. Don't worry about all these. And uh, let's go, let's go down. There must be one more thing. Yeah. At line 20, you can see we have created four channels. What are these four channels? These are basically RGB and A alpha, which is opacity. And where are these four channels? It is on line 30G. You will be able to see it. Okay. Wow. I'm really bad at explaining things, man. Okay, so this is the red channel, this is the green channel, this is the blue channel, and this is the alpha. 
And what is this one? This is basically the width or the thickness of the visual block. You can change it like let's say 10 and it will start tweaking out. Absolutely. <laughs> I can also like make it two. You can adjust it at like whatever you want. I'll just keep it one. By the way, you cannot provide decibel values here because OpenCV does not take half pixels as it puts. So you'll have to provide like an integer value. But, and let's come to the color of this thing. Like this is white right now. If you want to change the color, you can simply like, uh, Google the RGB code of whatever color you want and put it here. Like if I just make it 200, let's see what ha will happen. Okay, it converted into slightly pink. So yeah, this is where basically you can change how, how you can change the color. If you want black, you can just have one in these. Now it is black, as you can see. Oh, it does not look good, right? Let's change it back to white. Okay. So I hope you understand this much. Okay, now there is one more thing. On line 37, there is one more line which I commented it out. What this do is, it basically adds a center point circle to your blobs. And these circles are also like, you can control them. This is the like uh, size of circle I can put if I want, let's say 70. Oh, this is so big now. <laughs> Why did I even do that? That's like three, yep, small circles. And I don't really want circles on my thing, so I will like just comment it out. And you can also like change the color of the circle with these. Should I show you? Sure. Let's just make it 25. Oh wait, what the hell happened? Oh, 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 oh. Line 37. It should have not happened, what? Oh, shit. Indentation error. Yeah. Okay, so you can see it. It's like slightly pinkish now. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to connect the whole line out because I do not want that. So I think this is pretty much it for the code. You must have understood it by now. To what is more thing? Yeah, threshold. So your whole block tracking will depend upon the threshold. You'll have to find the best fit. I've already found like for this video at 3.7.72 actually. You'll have to like find your own. Oh, I also need to increase the pixels. Let's say 120. I don't want those unnecessary blocks. Should I turn on the circle? Yeah, no, nah, let's leave it. Anyways, I think this is pretty much it for the video. I almost explained everything, whatever I can. Uh, as I said, again, this is my very first tutorial and I'm not really good at explaining things. <laughs> What should I do next? Yeah, I think we should stop the video now. Yep, I'll give you the code and you can like copy it and what whatever. Yeah, see you later.